Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the most intriguing, interesting, and neatest products that I have seen in years. I mean, literally in my career I never thought I'd see the day where I'd be selling, telling anybody what I'm about to tell you people in about the next 5 to 10 minutes. This is the Ford and Evo 1. I promise you once I did the Evo key, as soon as I seen the, the uh, top of the line flagship Evo 1 hit, I get on the computer and stuff, but whatever it was I was doing, and believe me, I have a lot doing, I was going to do a review. And this thing really deserves a good detailed review, and I can tell you for a fact that whatever I tell you today is going to be different in a month or months or a year down the road. And the reason being, everything now is totally digital. Unlike most of the analog, partially digital, compatible alarm and remote start combination systems that are out in the market currently, something like this that is just made by Fortin is revolutionizing the industry as I know it. And believe me, I've been in this industry for a really long time. I mean, way back when. Now, this unit here is, just as I said, it's what it is. If you can actually believe what this little box right here is going to do, you're not even going to believe, you're not even going to believe what I'm about to tell you. Look at how tiny this thing is. It's like a pack of cigarettes. Unbelievable. I mean, it's so much to, to just to upload and put into my own mental computers. I'm going to try my very best because this, forgive me if I stutter, if I, if I, you know, stagger a little here and there because this thing is just a whole lot to talk about. So let me start off with the basics. This is an Evo 1. This is what Fortin considers to be the ultimate, and I agree, and smallest, of course, Owen one high power data, data immobilizer bypass module, does your door locks, security system, and remote start interface. This is also compatible, of course, with, with the T harnesses from the Evo All, which is the last year's model of the Evo All, which is basically this Evo One. It's basically that plus an alarm all built into one small miniaturized system. So it's not going to basically make the Evo All you know, totally, you know, obsolete, not by a far cry, because this is the different piece. This one here is for the guy who wants a full security system, remote start, either wants to add telematics through a drone, through his phone, an RF kit, um, who wants to add in, you know, uh, external triggers like proximity sensors, shock sensors, stuff like that, wants the ability to upload and change settings either through what is included here through the existing programming switch on board or utilizing Fortin's proprietary flash link module which you can purchase separate plug into this unit and do your updating now for instance this one here is a T harness this is a model Evo FORT1 which is for Ford and you can see this here is for your ignition harness and over here it's like for the MUX plug or whatever it is for the Fords and one goes into each so you would just basically take these plugs your data to data 4 pin and then you can plug those into your Evo, unplug two wires underneath your Ford's column, bing, 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 program this bad boy, and then you could add on a, a times three, like hitting the factory remote, lock, 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 to do a remote start. That would be the Evo all utilizing this Ford harness. Now, fast forward to this module. This is the Evo 1. Now, this basically is going to do that work backwards compatible according to their website. I haven't seen that actually work in the field because I've seen information on their site which says that they're just in a process of coming out with eight new T harnesses which actually have Evo 1 and then like Hyundai or Acura, Hyundai, um, there was some, a few of them that they're, that they're starting to come out with which is a little weird to me because you know I don't know why would they need to have those if they already have so many existing on the market for the Evo all. I'm not sure how that's going to work out and like I said down the road things are going to change but all I can tell you is what this thing is for right now that's what I want to focus on. So with what you see right here, you have the ability to add on an RF kit, which basically means in English, you can get right here through this four pin plug, you can add on a two-way remote, one-way remote control, whatever you want. You could use the, the uh, drone system, so you can use your iPhone or Android, use that as your, as your unlimited range remote control, and also use the GPS all built into this little wonder. Now, you have high current, which is right here. This is, and I was just about to actually do some reviews on the uh, new Prestige 2015 line. And this is just like every remote start system with the high current plugs ever made. This one here, same difference. Not to mean that you're going to have to utilize this, but they give it to you because there's a different application for every vehicle, every car, of course. So they're going to give you this. Just because you see all these wires that are laid out here in front of you does not necessarily necessarily mean that your application is going to require them at all. Okay. So out of the box, if you're wondering how do I use this thing, 
the way it works is you would utilize your existing factory transmitters to program and work this to make it a factory upgrade or factory enhancement to add remote start and security features and all the programmable settings which I'm going to touch on when I read some of the stuff from the book to you guys. So don't think that all this stuff here is required. This here is a wire color guide so that way it gives you a login code. I'm going to keep that covered because whoever gets this module is going to want that. Um, that's going to give you vehicle colors, locations, how to's. Um, the, the tech support at this company, Fortin, I've always told you from day one, is very good. They're very nice. They speak English. They speak in French. They're from Canada, so, you know, give them mercy, you know, but they're pretty nice people. I've called them on several occasions, and they've always been very helpful. It's uh, very rare that they, that they, you know, that they get stumped. They have a hard time, of course, in the holidays when it's really cold and wintry. You can expect a longer, you know, wait time, but aside from that, you know, you can't complain about their service. On here you see that there's a total of three LEDs which are all for diagnostics. Over here you see that there's an, a loop here because believe it or not for the remote start this here is actually manual or auto trans compatible. All these plugs here I'm going to talk about what they all are, how they work. This little pin switch is optional again for remote start sa safety so that way if the hood is, is up you know it'll ground this to, this to the remote start not allow it to remote start. Of course if you don't want that you don't have to have it. Okay, So we got that. We went over the three times for a remote start, built an alarm, um, the three onboard LEDs for programming and diagnostics, uh, preloaded firmware. If you wanted to change all that stuff, there's a flash link on our site, which we sell, and you can go ahead and go crazy, program it, update it, change it, do whatever you want to do with it. It's there for the taking. Otherwise, if you're purchasing it from a dealer, whether it be us, um, we may charge you nothing if you're a good customer or whatever. Uh, first time, we usually might charge you five bucks just to put the firmware that you ask on the system or do an update if, if applicable that's all that's all how it works everything is done on a computer these days now so what you can expect on the wiring part okay and we're talking about this side right now okay you got your six pin harness and you got ground ignition start this one here is a programmable setting for parking lights positive ignition two accessory or start whichever applicable to your car what you need you can set that to be that this one here is a programmable setting for a second accessory or ignition two, and of course you have a constant 12 volt input. Over here, um, foot brake, which of course you need for remote start, negative parking light outputs, negative trunk release output, which is 750 milliamps, which is a lot more than most. Um, negative handbrake, and I'm going to touch on that for manual remote start applications. Hood status, which is going to go to this for the hood pin for remote start disable um, while the hood is up. You got an ignition bypass, lock, unlock output, negative ignition, negative start, negative disarm, negative horn, siren output, um, negative ground while running. Now, on this, you got the horn and siren. You, you would have to add a siren yourself. You have to purchase that separately. Of course, a shock sensor, if you wanted that function, you'd have to purchase that separately. Understand that this is a hub, and as it is, it's amazing. Just to go over what this is, especially for the price of what it is and the amount of lack of labor, um, it's, it's really something. I can hardly wait to see what else, what else they come out to this system as far as little peripherals. But moving along, on the other side, you see right here, try to keep along. Uh, it's got D, C, B, H, I, and J from left to right. So you got 6-pin bypass relay, 5-pin CAN bus, 4-pin data link connector. You got the antenna input for RF kits, which are optional. RS-232 data link with flash link updater cable plug-in right there. Uh, bypass programming button, which is, you know, typical of Fortin. And you got the little loop there, so if you're going to cut it for uh, auto trans or manual, what have you. Okay, now I want to talk about some of the programming settings, what this thing can do, um, and how it does it, because that's really something. So let me get to that next. Now, while I am going to put a link down below to, to the website for this manufacturer, um, I don't believe that they have this guide that's this robust that has all this information. And this is the kind of stuff that most people um, might find boring, but the people who are actually interested in seriously going to buy one of these I'm dying, are going to be dying to want to know. So, like I said, the user programmable settings utilizing this existing programming switch that they give you, which is a first time for e for anything, this is it, um, the Evo 1 gives you. These are all the settings that you can set as a user or an installer. So you got tax sensitivity, runtime, adding a remote, safety locks, unlock pulse time, active or passive arming, start or kill output, sound confirmation, you could have it quiet, horn only, confirmation pulse, long, short, I mean these are all real security features. Um, alarm and starter options. You got remote starter enabled, um, alarm enabled, remote starter disabled, whatever you want it to be, smart door locking, relocking, and auto rearming. 
cold start, so you can have the sink start every three hours at negative five Celsius. One and a half hours at five, negative five. Um, one and a half, five, you can turn it off, turn it on. Diesel mode, on, off, this thing does auto and manual trans, as I mentioned. Over here, you got a turbo timer built into it, which is insane. Engine supervision, tack, tackless, analog tack. Um, how many start attempts? Master reset if you screw up everything to the point of oblivion. Um, hybrid mode, gas diesel. Alarm duration, you can have this thing go off for 30, 60, or, or 2 minutes. Uh, valet coating, you can actually set it, programmable, make it your own, kind of like an old style Clifford, if you can believe that. Um, nice to see that thing come back from, from the dead. Um, programmable special outputs you got. Uh, ground outputs, if you want to use that for uh, shutdowns and, you know, special wiring applications. Um, ready mode, activation uh, mode for manual transmission. I'm going to show you on, on the second manual how that thing works. Um, trunk outputs, um, door unlock special applications if you want to do tech, second stage unlock. Um, system controlled by OEM remote or you could turn it on, have it do, done externally through an RF kit or a telematics. Uh, temperature option, you can enable that on or off, which is another thing. You don't have to buy, it's already built into the system. All the diagnostic codes are all built in. All your settings and uh, troubleshooting guides are laid out in plain English. This thing is very good. As far as installation ease goes, man, it's 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 tough to beat. This thing is really mind-blowing. Um, moving on, these are all more of the settings. Uh, audible confirmations, alarm activity, open zone notifications, false arming deactivations, uh, shock sensor settings, vehicle locator panic modes, um, idle modes, turbo modes, valet modes. I mean, just crazy stuff. Over here, Anything that your car can do and your car's computer can do almost, this thing can basically duplicate it through CAN bus, which just means in English, lack of wiring. Just basically two wires, CAN high, two, CAN low, it's crazy. Um, this here is your reservation mode for your manual transmission. It's, it's going to want you to put the car in neutral position, engage the parking brake, release the brake pedal, press the start button, remove the key, Exit, close the doors, and then you're in, in a position where the next time you want a remote start, it's done and done safely. So that way, if a child or someone who's unauthorized to use this feature needs to know how this is, how this is accomplished prior to use it, using the remote start on a manual transmission, it's very cool that, that they give you this. They give you not just one method, but they give you a total of two. Driving off, idle mode, which is cool. So you actually have to leave the vehicle or on the remote start while the car is running. You can get out, lock it, leave it running for your other passengers. Turbo mode, crazy, just just more crazy stuff. Uh, custom valley coating. This is how you do it. Awesome. Sliding door settings, remote door lock settings, security lock, runtime, runtime reset. Um, I mean, crazy. There's your alarm diagnostics. Ready mode disabled, valley hood open. Um, what shut down the remote start? Was it the brake pedal? Runtime expired? No tax signal? Hood open? Over crank threshold? I mean, this thing has all this and then some. I mean, this thing is just unbelievable. It's mind blowing. Um, it just goes on and on. I mean, this Evo One is is really something to see. I mean, I, I can't believe what they've done. And this thing is amazing. They also have done two uh, small videos on Fortin's website. I I would advise you to go on there, take a look at them because they did two uh, first you know, uh, test dummy installations so that we can get a better clue of how this thing works in real life because I don't have a real vehicle here for demonstration. I just got this thing in the mail. So cut me some slack on that end. But there will be some more information to follow. I'm sure there's going to be more peripherals for this. Specifically, I'm very interested in the shock sensor, adding sirens onto this thing, um, doing some other stuff, doing telematics integration. I want to see the smartphone app work on this thing, um, not just with the iPhone, but with the Android, both. I like to see multi-car compatibility get done into the system. I really want to push this thing and make this thing work for this work for its money. Uh, but for right now, this thing just hit the market, uh, so let's just be grateful that we have that for now. So right now, there's my review on the Evo One. There's a link down below if you want to get your hands on one, if you want to ask us some questions regarding one, if you want to get a, be a dealer, sign up to get one, or if you need help with a flash link programming, whatever have you, we can help you with all those things. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video.